In this video, I'm going to show how to graph a parabola by finding and plotting five points. So let's use the following function as our example, y equals x squared plus 8x plus 18. The overall idea for graphing this function using five points is to first find the vertex of this parabola and then to find four additional points, two points to the left of the vertex and then two points to the right of the vertex. And in this process we use the fact that parabola is a symmetric graph. So we're going to start with step one in which we will need to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. And this is the formula that we're going to use. So to determine the x-coordinate of the vertex we need to find negative b over 2a. Where do a and b come from? Well, they come from our function. Recall that quadratic function has the following general form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is the coefficient of x squared and b is the coefficient of x. So what are the values of a and b for our example? Well, there is no coefficient of x squared. There is no number written in front of x squared. Well, that means that a equals 1. And then coefficient of x, as we can see, it's 8. So b equals 8. Now I'm going to plug these numbers into the formula. So I'll get negative. I put 8 in the numerator. That's b. And then 2 times a in the denominator. So that gives me negative 8 over 2, which is same as negative 4. So the x coordinate of the vertex is negative 4. And after we complete step 1, we are ready to determine what, what the other four points we're going to use for graphing this problem. And there are not going to be any four points. They're going to be such points that two of them lie to the right of the vertex and two of them lie to the left of the vertex. Now to help us to figure out what those points have to be and organize our work, we're going to use the table. And that's what I'm going to call step 2. And this is how we're going to fill this table out. Since we already found the x coordinate of the vertex, we're going to place it in the table in the x column. But since the vertex will be our middle point, I'm going to place it right in the middle of this table. So that's where I'm going to put negative 4, which is the x coordinate of the vertex. Notice that I have two empty spaces above negative 4 and two empty spaces below negative 4. Well, that's where I'm going to put x-coordinates of the other four points that I'm trying to find. So what are those x-coordinates? This is how you want to think about it. We already determined that the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 4. If I want to find two points that lie to the right and to the left of the vertex, it means that their x-coordinates have to be negative 3, negative 2, this will be the x-coordinates of two points that lie to the right of the vertex, and the x-coordinates of the points that lie to the left of the vertex have to be negative 5 and negative 6. So by locating the x-coordinate of the vertex on the number line and moving two steps to the right and two steps to the left, I will determine the x-coordinates of all five points that I'm going to use for constructing the parabola. So I can see here that they're going to be negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, well that's my vertex, negative 5 and negative 6. And now I'm going to place those numbers in the first column, in the x column of my table. So negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 is the vertex, then negative 5, negative 6. I filled this table out with the x coordinates of points. How do I find the corresponding y coordinates? Well, by plugging those values into the function. I can do that in any order I want. I'll start with the vertex. So I plug in negative 4 into the function. So it's negative 4 squared plus 8 times negative 4 plus 18. Make sure that when you plug in the negative number, you use parentheses. So what's left to do here is to just simplify this expression. Negative 4 squared gives me 16, positive 16. Positive 8 times negative 4 is negative 32, and then plus 18. And that equals positive 2. So now I can see that the coordinates of the vertex are negative 4, positive 2. 
Next, in the same manner, I'm going to find the y coordinates of the remaining four points. So here's my work for finding y coordinates of the remaining four points, and now I have them all. And at this point, it's going to be very important to observe the following, since we already know that parabola is symmetric, and we specifically find points on each side of the vertex, we should be able to observe the symmetry as we look at the y-coordinates of the points. Notice that the closest two points that lie to the right and to the left of the vertex, they have the same y-coordinates, so they are on the same level vertically, right? And that's what we expect due to symmetry. And now the next set of points to the right or to the left of the vertex, they also have the same y-coordinate. So that's going to be a good place for you to stop and check if you performed calculations correctly. If you don't see the symmetry in the table, then you miscalculated something somewhere and you would want to recheck your steps, including recalculating the, the x-coordinate of the vertex. Mistake can happen there as well. Now everything looks good for us, so let's plot this point and sketch the problem. I'm going to start with the vertex. It's coordinates are negative 4, 2. There's this point. The point to the right of it is negative 3, 3. So here's that point. The point to the left has coordinates negative 5, 3. Here it is. And then finally, I have point negative 2, 6. That's the first one in my table. And the last point in the table is negative 6, 6. Here it is. Once I plot the points, besides observing the symmetry, which obviously is there, I also want to confirm that the graph has the right direction. Remember that probably can either open up or down, and we can always check the direction by, by looking at a, the coefficient of x squared. If a is positive, parabola opens up, and if a is negative, parabola op opens down. We know that for our function, value of a is 1. And it's positive one, so parabola should open up. And now, once again, this is consistent with what I see. So I'm ready to connect these points and sketch the problem. So here's my sketch. So this illustrates how you can graph the parabola by finding and plotting five special points. Vertex and four more points two on each side of the vertex.